38 North is a program of the U.S. Korea Institute at Johns Hopkins University dedicated to providing analysis of events in and around North Korea. Their blog is authored by its faculty and guest commentators, including Dr. Rudiger Frank, a longtime North Korea expert, an economist, and a professor of East Asian studies at the University of Vienna. Dr. Frank was educated at Kim Il-sung University in North Korea and has been visiting the reclusive state for the past 24 years. I recently had a chance to sit down with him. In this part two of my two-part interview, we discuss the state of the North Korean economy and the emergence of what he called a middle class in North Korea. Uh, what would you say is the state of the North Korean economy at this point? Well, it's obviously in a stage of transition. For someone who's going to North Korea as regularly as I do for 25 years now, it's obvious the country is changing. Not fast and not always at the pace we want, but definitely in a visible way and I think also in a way that can't be wound back. For example, the existence of markets um, where people can go and buy whatever they want in case they have the money, that's something that wasn't there. I'm really hesitant to call them black markets, those Changmadang, because they are legal, uh, at least the ones that I have seen. Um, uh, they are heavily guarded. Uh, if in order to trade there, you have to have a license. I have also heard of young entrepreneurs in North Korea. Are there entrepreneurs? Oh, yes. Usually they are in the uh, restaurant business or in the tourism business. Uh, these are things where you can actually um, be an entrepreneur in North Korea. Obviously, you need to have some kind of connection because you will not be a really a private entrepreneur, but it all takes place uh, under the cover of some collective, but de, de facto, yes. Uh, and many young people I met uh, from the educated middle class, they actually dream about uh, entering business, opening their own restaurant, coffee shop, or tourism uh, company. You said middle class. So are you saying that there is a middle class in North Korea? Very obviously. That's one of the big changes that I have observed in the last 24 years, um, that this middle class has actually emerged. Uh, you now do have uh, people who look differently, who are more fashionably dressed, who have mobile phones, who have the right body language, uh, who are very self-confident on the streets, not only of Pyongyang, but also of uh, Chongjin, Pyongsong, Sariwon, any other major no North Korean city. So are we seeing an emergence of capitalism in North Korea? Well, I would say what we see is uh, the attempt by the state to use different means to achieve economic progress. At least the middle class in North Korea have had a taste of what money can bring them. Absolutely, yes. And uh, this is uh, transforming their whole outlook on life because they understand whatever you want to get, if you have money, you can get it. Can we anticipate a unification like that of Germany? Definitely no, uh, to begin with, because Korea and Germany are so different. Um, if we look at the uh, changes going on in North Korea right now, leading to three million owners of mobile phones by now, and the emergence of a middle class, and learning capitalism from the Chinese, and an increasing readiness by the leadership to accept that. If we look at that, and project it into the future, if it goes on for another 10 or 15 years, then South Korea will be negotiating nego uh, unification with a partner that is more equal. Uh, not necessarily equal in economic power, although I think North Korea can even surpass South Korea one day, because they have the border with China, they have the uh, raw ma materials there, and they are lacking technology and capital, but that can be brought in. But what's more important is South Korea will negotiate with the North Korea that understands the rules of the game, which was not the case for the East German leadership in 1990, when the negotiations were held about German unification. So it will be a completely different uh, situation. And I think it's important that South Korea understands that and prepares for that.